As of today, there are just under 2,000 COVID patients in our hospitals. Uh, this is around 30% more than at the peak of the first wave last April. And it means that around 80% of the NHS COVID surge capacity is already at this stage being utilised. The number of COVID patients in intensive care remains below the peak of the first wave. However, it has increased by more than 90% since the turn of the year. In total, taking account of COVID and non-COVID patients, there are around 260 patients in intensive care beds across Scotland right now, and that compares to a normal ICU capacity of around 170. So the pressure the NHS is facing right now is real and severe, and it is, of course, having a significant consequential impact on non-COVID elective care. The number of new cases in the past couple of weeks also means that this pressure is almost certain to rise for a further period yet. All of that means we cannot afford to see the rate of infection start to rise again, which from such a high baseline, it could all too easily do if we start to interact more with each other than we are doing right now. So it is for all these reasons that the Cabinet decided this morning to maintain the restrictions which are currently in place. That means that the lockdown restrictions, including the strict stay-at-home requirement, will remain in place across mainland Scotland and some island communities until at least the middle of February. Cabinet will review the situation again on the 2nd of February.